Does China have secret agents in the Philippines who are waiting for orders from the Chinese government to destabilize the country? Former DILG chief Rafael Alunan said that China is supporting most probably proxy organizations like rebel groups, friendship societies, business conglomerates, and united funds to advance China's core interest of indisputable sovereignty in the Philippine maritime domains and to take effective control of the country. He also said on October 16th, the National Bureau of Investigation raided a house in Valley Verde 5 in Pasig. Arrested and detained were six Chinese and their two Filipino security personnel. Taken from them were high-powered firearms and ammunition. Mark with from People's Republic of China, as well as badges designating roles such as Blasting Team, Support Team, Assault Team, Machine Gun Team, and Sniper Team. The discovery indicates China's malevolent intentions by prepositioning secret agents for future action. What China is doing to the Philippines in the West Philippine Sea is directly related to its infiltration made easy by the corruption of government officials and uninformed personnel. What do you think of his statements? Do they sound reasonable? Is it possible that China has secret agents in the Philippines? Let's assume for a second that China does have agents in the Philippines. But why? Some say that China is planning to invade the Philippines to exploit its natural resources. They claim that because the Philippines is wealthy and has lots of minerals like iron, copper, and zinc. It would be logical for a powerful nation like China to invade the Philippines and seize all of its valuable resources. Throughout history, wars have often been sparked by competition over natural resources. Weaker nations have frequently been invaded and taken advantage of for their natural resources. Does this apply to China? Why would China want to invade the Philippines? Their gains would be limited, mainly just some resources and stopping the US from having a base nearby. But there are better ways to achieve this. Could China invade the Philippines? Yes, because they have a strong military. What would happen if they did? It would be tough. The Philippines has lots of islands and a history of fighting back against invaders, American, Spanish, and Japanese invaders. Even with the help from America, China would face big challenges. The US would likely step in to stop the invasion. America would only step in if there is a war and the mutual defense treaty is called into action. The big question is, will America risk a third world war with China that could involve NATO, the Korean Peninsula, Australia, and Japan. Will America risk a war with China, which has 400 nuclear warheads that could be dropped on US cities for the sake of the Philippines? The US may or may not risk a war with China. Let's take a closer look at both possibilities. The first possible scenario is that America might not risk a war with China. To avoid confrontation with China, America would invoke other provisions in the MDT that prevented from declaring war. One of these is that the attack by China, presumably, must be on metropolitan territory, which by definition does not refer to conflict in areas under dispute, such as the Spotlys, and might support Filipino rebels. Making things even harder for China, it would be like the tough situations in Vietnam Afghanistan and other places, maybe even tougher. Remember, China has never historically attacked any other sovereign nation. Also, many businesses in the Philippines are owned by Filipino Chinese, who would strongly oppose an invasion because it would affect their businesses. This could lead to chaos, with Filipinos possibly turning against Chinese residents in the country. Plus, China is aware of the alliance between America and the Philippines, putting them even in a tough spot if they were to invade. Lastly, China and the Philippines are on good terms as friends. Aside from the exploitation of natural resources, what other reasons could there be for China to invade the Philippines? Another reason is the tensions in the South China Sea. 
Over the last 10 years, the conflict in the South China Sea has been constantly in the spotlight. As China builds islands in the middle of the South China Sea, once underwater reefs have become sandy islands with airfields, roads, buildings, and bases for missile systems. In less than two years, China has turned seven reefs into seven military bases, making the South China Sea one of the most contentious areas of sea in the world. Territorial dispute between China and the Philippines is at increasingly high risk of escalating into a conflict involving the two superpowers. On January 22, 2013, the Philippines files UN arbitration over China's sovereignty claims. The Philippines initiates an international arbitration case under UNCLOS over Chinese claims of sovereignty to the Spotleys and Scarborough Shaw. China rejects the process, forcing the court and its arbitration to continue without its participation. The case marks the first time a country has brought a claim against China under UNCLOS. On July 12, 2016, tribunal rules against China's South China Sea claims. The Permanent Court of Arbitration in The Hague rules in favor of the Philippines. On April 27, 2023, a Chinese Coast Guard ship cuts off a Philippine patrol vessel carrying journalists in the disputed South China Sea, causing a near collision. The Philippine Coast Guard ship was shadowed by Chinese Navy and Coast Guard ships and ordered to leave the water several times. The incident happened after the Philippine Coast Guard boats approached 2nd Thomas Shaw, where Philippine Marines are stationed in a rundown Navy ship grounded to assert Manila's territorial claim in the waters. As the Philippine Coast Guard ship neared the Shaw, a Chinese Coast Guard vessel more than twice its size sailed into its path. But are these enough reasons for China to invade the Philippines? Namely, the tensions in the South China Sea and the rich resources in the Philippines. No, China has grown its influence mainly through economic strategies rather than military actions. They offer business deals that work in their favor, and they have been doing it for so long. They have already seen how other empires, like European ones, fell apart because they fought wars. Now they're watching the decline of the American Empire, which followed similar path of military interventions. Furthermore, invading the Philippines would require China to spend more on its military, which goes against their business-minded nature, investing heavily in military operations for little to no gain would not be a smart business move for them. Now let's go back to the topic of the Chinese spies. The concern arose when a few Chinese individuals were apprehended along with two Filipinos assisting them in an upscale residential area in Metro Manila. Confiscated during the search of the rented house were documents and some high-powered firearms suggesting that the group might be up to something harmful to the interest of the country. The Philippine police agents who arrested the Chinese nationals said that it's unusual that many Chinese nationals of military age are availing themselves of the special resident retirees visa, knowing very well that Chinese people of working age are very industrious and all want to become rich. It's somewhat strange that they have retired at a very early age and are just enjoying themselves in the Philippines. There was also the aggressive effort to acquire the vacated Korean shipyard in Subic, which is close to a naval facility. Then there is the area in Clark, which is also close to Air Force Base, that a Chinese company wanted to lease. There seems to be an unusual interest by Chinese companies to acquire real estate near military bases and facilities. The Chinese embassy in the Philippines denied the allegation that there are Chinese sleeper cells or secret agents in the Philippines. We have also noted that the MBI officer working on this case pointed out that there is no truth and that this is part of the plan of the Chinese to create a destabilization plot in the country. Nevertheless, some individuals with ulterior motives took advantage of an isolated case and blew things out of proportion by making groundless accusations against China and the Chinese people. China has also adhered to the principle of non-interference in the internal affairs of other countries, 
and has also been dedicated to properly handling differences through dialogue and consultation so as to preserve stability in the South China Sea. The embassy said, is it possible for China to invade the Philippines? Are there secret agents in the Philippines plotting to destabilize the country? 